Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly vlog. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content that I've been posting thus far. Uh, please continue to like, comment, share and subscribe and leave comments below guys. I'm very interactive with my comments. I respond to everyone. And yeah, so today is a Friday, which is my Saturday off from work. Um, and there is this Asian supermarket that I want to try out. I want to go there just to see what type of snacks they have. Um, maybe I'll do a little trying Asian snacks video. Um, yeah, but I've been seeing on TikTok they have some little baby crab snacks. I love seafood and it just looks and sounds so amazing and uh, I want to try so yeah I'm about to go get ready because your girl is looking crazy I'm about to go get ready I'll do a little outfit of the day once I'm done and we'll see what else we could get into I have school pickup at 1 30 so yeah I'll be back once I am done getting ready This is the finished look that I'm doing for today. Just something clean and simple because I'm not doing too much. I just did my eyebrows, my skincare using the products that I showed. And now I'm done. It's time to go. It's time to go. So let me show you my outfit of the day. Fix you guys up so you could see me. So I'm just wearing this white top. I got it from Wally World, Walmart, yes. This necklace I got from my sister for my mm, lips for my birthday. Um inside of it, if you hold it up to the light, you'll see a picture of my daughter with my mom holding her. Super cute. So I'm just wearing this white sleeveless top I picked up from Walmart. My jeans, they are from Old Navy. And I think I paid like $8 for these jeans. No. My set of the day today will be Burberry hair. Love, love, love. No girl of a smell. Good. So I think I'll be wearing my clear jellies these clear jellies that i got from old navy as well so these are what i'll be wearing on my feet um i need to get my watch and my rings oh my gosh guys my toes look quasi but that will be dealt with soon I might be taking a little I might be taking a little trippy trip guys so I'll just wait on them to do my toes and my nails so I'm wearing my Apple watch with a gold band and my wedding rings yeah your girl is married she's taking up the market so these are my wedding bands it's a layer of three very big always get compliments and stares um so yeah i will catch you guys back once i'm in the car it's back again and we are in the car so now it is 12 18 
Um, while getting ready, I realized that my pencil that I used to do my eyebrows are done. So I need to get a pencil. And I want to do all of this before I have to pick up Blessing by 130. I'm Better. Okay, yeah, so I want to do all of this before I have to pick up Blessing by 130. But look at my skin. That um, vitamin C serum seems like it's working. So I'm going to just keep on using it. And hopefully it keeps blowing my mind. So yeah, um, now I'm going to go to the Asian supermarket. After I leave the Asian supermarket, I'm going to run to Sephora to get my eyebrow pencil. Because like I said, I may be taking... These people are crazy, bro. The heck? I may be taking a trip in the next couple of weeks. So I don't want to be scrambling and rushing close to the end. Because I do have work in the evenings. And most mornings, I really don't want to leave home. So I'll just sit and do stuff around the house until it's time for me to go pick up Blessing and by the time I pick her up it's time for me to get ready and go. But my persons they are still holding up for the most part just lost one finger but why this person don't go? Bro, this person has been sitting at the light for this whole time. Like, the road has been cleared so many times and they're just sitting here at the stoplight. If you know you're gonna go straight, why not go in the other lane? These people are so annoying, bro. Anyways, so... I usually use the chocolate brown pencil from Sephora. Um, it's... $12 kind of pricey for uh, eyebrow pencil but I really like it it's what I used like the last I had to be scraping to get a little to use hands are ashy it's really good I like it I normally buy like two at a time because I don't really wear makeup to work but usually like every other like whenever I feel like it, I'll wear, I'll do my brows for work. So I'm, I don't really wear makeup on a day. To, I haven't worn makeup in a while. We are on the way. Let's put on some lip gloss. My lips are looking horrible. I'm not gonna lie, my skin is literally skinning with or without a filter. Do not do this and drive people, this is for professionals only. My lips are courtesy of Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid and acide hyaluronic. Oh, duh. That's a different language. Yeah, so it has a hyaluronic acid and this color is in gummy bear. I really like this gloss. Yeah, I prefer lip gloss over lipstick but usually I'd only wear lip gloss consistently if I'm going out. I normally wear like um the Carmex lip balm but this is really good. I really like it. I'm gonna turn right here because the light is about to be red. Yeah this is a good um drugstore lip gloss for those of those girlies that are into it. 
like recently I don't know I've been thinking about getting like lip filler for my top lip because my mouth is pretty small and my bottom lip is juicier than the top lip so I was saying you know hmm, I wonder if I should get my top lip filled but I have uh, how are people just reversing and not looking uh, Jesus yeah so I recently started using the Too Faced lip injection um, lip plumper and girl it's fine it really plumps my lips so maybe I don't have to get fillers but it would be really nice if they were permanent because lip injection lip um, plumpers don't really last that long so we are here we are at Koa Mart if that's how it's pronounced it's K-O-A Koa Mart if you're in the Broward County area you should look it up it's right there I don't know if you can see it where is it so it's right over there it's right there I'm gonna just head in there now just yeah look at my skin I'm gonna just head in there now to see what I can find It's like I have teleported to Asia. It's so nice. I'm just looking around to see like what snacks I want to try. I think I'm going to do the Paki. Um, maybe like the almond crunch Paki. And I want to do like a chips or something. Let's see. Crab chips. All right, y'all. Yes. Okay. Let's see what else. Bulldog ramen. Um, I don't think this is something that I would want to try. We eat it straight out of the pot. That's not appealing to me. Okay, guys I am back and I think I was bamboozled <laughs> I ended up spending $43 in there but I'm gonna do a haul when I get home because it's crazy so I did end up picking up this spicy tuna mayo tree kimbap it's like seaweed wrapped with rice and um, spicy tuna and the tuna I did ask her because I, I didn't want no raw tuna. I asked her and she said it was um, like the canned tuna. So the instructions are down here and we're gonna do a quick taste test. It's now 101. 
Oh Jesus, pray for me guys. So the instruction says I should pull this tab. Pull this tab down. And I did get a drink to wash it down with. So pull this tab. Okay. And just pull it all the way off. It's still warm, so I guess they just made it. Oh Lord, Jesus Father. Okay, wait, let me put some sanitizer on my hand. My sanitizer is running low. I need to get me some more. Lord Jesus, oh, what is, oh shit. Oh my God. Jesus, my husband is gonna kill me. I just spilled alcohol in the buttons hopefully it won't do nothing because it's just alcohol right it's not like water Jesus Christ but anyway I don't even think I got enough I got so frightened so with most of the stuff that I got the stuff that I can travel with I think I'm gonna take them with me to do like a video with my siblings so it comes like this Okay, Jesus. Comes like this, and I guess you have to. Oh, shoot. I'm not doing this thing right. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm okay. So now, I guess I take out the rice. Oh my gosh, this is so messy. Take out the rice, take out the seaweed, and wrap it. But how do I wrap it? Jeez. Uh, like this, I guess. Uh, yeah. So I think this is how it's wrapped. So this is how it looks now, and it's time to taste. Pray for me. All right, let's. All right, let's see. God is good. God is great. Let us thank Him for our food. Amen. Please don't let this taste bad. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. It's good. It's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It is a little spicy, not crazy. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I feel like I'm choking. I did get this Chupa Chups um, sparkling. This is the grape flavor. So I'm gonna just use, the, I'm gonna use this to wash it down. But I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, this is good too. If you remember, like back in the day, they had those Chupa Chups lollipop. This is like the drink to it. Hiccups. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. Would I eat it again? I don't know, but it's not bad. There is also a Pilates place over here that I want to go check out, so maybe that would, could be like next week's video, I'd go check out the Pilates spot. I'm gonna go online and see everything that I need to go. I think I might need Pilates socks and 
here just dress normal like you're gonna work out but this is not bad this is what's left okay okay it's a little buzz it's a little buzz i wouldn't eat it regular because i'm kind kind of a scornful eater <laughs> you know but these are good these are not bad at all look at all these stay at home moms coming out of the gym wow must be nice all right guys it's not bad it can go on what it's gonna do to my stomach i don't know so it's 107 and i'm not too far away from sephora so i'm just gonna go there now and get my pencils i take my trip if i go if not then i'll just do a video but like the stuff that i can travel with i'm gonna take it i did also find korean corn dogs i've been wanting to try those forever so i get a chance to do that um Sir, I see you. You're in a big old truck. How could I not? So, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I was really, like, scared to try the, um, the kimbap, but it's, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It's like canned tuna and they put, like, a sauce on it. It's kind of sweet and spicy. Maybe a sweet chili. I don't know with regular jasmine rice and seaweed a seaweed wrap um yeah so like i was saying in the store um guys i was really scared to record even though i asked and they said yes it was fine it was so nice and they were so nice usually some um asian asians they are really mean because boy i went to las vegas the other day and they were ugh, they were not nice to me but these they were very nice um when i showed her the snack she was like oh no we don't have it so that maybe it's a new type of snack whatever and she's um she said that their vendor didn't have it but hopefully they'll get it soon and i can go back and try it out oh my goodness there is no parking it's like senior citizens lunch hour there is literally no parking is this somebody leaving please be leaving i don't see nobody leaving at this time of the day on a friday though this is madness that was crazy i think i'm going to pick up blessing from school go home and drop off these because some of these items are freezer stuff so i don't want to have them out too long and today i planned on making myself like a noodle i like probably put my put some shrimp from home into it so I think I'm gonna do that and eat it with the imitation crab that I have. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. That's gonna be good. Bro, I cannot believe I spent $42. I was only supposed to go in there for one thing. One thing. That kimbap was $5. $4.99. And the most experience ex <laughs> what's wrong with me the most expensive thing I got was the um the Korean hot dog Tipo Kiko 
Yeah, that time the crab meat. Wait. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's whatever. I'm gonna have to get back that money some way. Some way, somehow. If you're like me, you're gonna drive and look at the stuff that you just bought. These don't have no English instruction, so how do I prepare it? This is the imitation crab. How do I prepare it? Guys, and I got me some chopsticks. Some chopsticks. I need now. I need me a uh, bowl for my noodles. A noodle bowl. And I think I know where I'm gonna get that for like a dollar. Oh, Wally World. Yeah. So I'm gonna go home put these stuff in the freezer then my baby and I are gonna head back out because it's a Friday and mama ain't got work I'm excited maybe I should do like a car haul then you know because I really want to see the stuff that I bought is anybody else like that like you picked up the stuff you bought them but it's like you have to look at them again before you go home like I just need to look at it again to satisfy myself before I go home anybody else like that I'm preparing for maybe traveling and I say maybe because you know your girl works at the airport so it's easy for me to just jump on a plane easy and hard at the same time because standby travel is no joke so let me see if i could quickly do a haul for you guys i don't know where i put the receipt oh here it is so first on the list was the kimbap that was five dollars 4.99 then i got these Korean hot dog. This is mozzarella cheese um, and potato fish sausage. Fish sausage. <laughs> we shall see. And that was eight ninety nine. Then I got the the imitation crab meat and these were $5.99 and then I also want to do like a stir fry with noodles and I got these stir fry noodles it's called yakisoba and they're stir fry noodles with seasoning sauce base and this was for $4.49 then I got Crab chips look like this. Crab chips and these were a dollar ninety-nine. I thought it was gonna look like crabs. I really wasn't paying attention. I also picked up this Tiboki rice cakes with cheese flavored sauce. And this was $2.99. Then I got the Pocky, the Almond Crush flavor. It was $2.49. That's all that's in this bag. And then in this last bag, I got the bowl noodles. This is the shrimp flavored. I usually get the spicy chicken. This was $1.79. I also got the lobster one which is lobster flavored this was a dollar 79 as well i got these chopsticks and the chopsticks they were 3.99 and it comes with two four six eight ten 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 sticks five pairs 
So five pairs of chopsticks. And of course, I got the Chupa Chups grape flavor drink. And this was $1.79. Yeah, and my bill was $42.36. Living is expensive. Living is very expensive. Ain't no joke. So as she come in here, wake up McDonald's. Wait, you know what that means. You know why that means. Wake up McDonald's. That means she want me to get her fries for McDonald's. So I'm gonna do that for her right now. Where is the bowl? What happened to the bowl? Hello? Please bowl. Yes, bowl. where is the bowl? Bowl school. Bowl is at school? Why did you leave it at school? <sighs> Kids. So I'm gonna just go get her the McDonald's. Let me see if I could order it online. And go pick it up. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So since I last picked up my camera, which was Friday. And I told you guys I was gonna come back. Me and Blessing came back home and she was very cranky and I got very frustrated. So I ended up putting her to take a little nap and I just chilled for the rest of the time. So fast forward, it is now Monday, March 18, March 11, sorry. And it's 11.38, so. I have a dilemma so I placed an order on I think it was Friday I placed the order on Friday before I left out for blessing and um, I use my PayPal I like to use my PayPal to complete purchases when I'm lazy to go get up and get my debit card or my credit card to make a purchase uh, so I made the purchase through PayPal and I did not realize that I used my old address so after I got back home Friday I was like cuz you know as you order something you just want to reach the uh, the same day or the next day so I went back and I was like let me look at my order to ensure that everything is okay cuz you know girl I'll wait Panar I don't know. Can't wait forget it. Anyways, lo and behold, I went on the um I went on the retailer that I ordered it from site. When my look my old address. So PayPal used my old address for my shipping and billing. So now you know a girl stress right out because they're not asking for i mean it's not that expensive but it's not cheap so i'm checking and it says that they're not gonna be asking for signature one so that means that they're just gonna drop it off at the old place and leave it so what i have decided to do is i'm gonna stock usps until they receive it because originally the retailer shipped it through ups but UPS is using some UPS innovations or whatever where they then transfer it to USPS. So I'm now stocking USPS to ensure that they hold it at the post office so that I can go and pick it up instead of them putting it out for delivery and somebody gets my stuff. Because clearly it is my fault that the address is incorrect because I didn't double check because I had entered the address correct on the website, but somehow PayPal decided to jack my, jack my ish up. So this morning, you know, as eight o'clock strike, I called USPS and they said that until they are in receipt of the package, there's nothing that they can do. So I've been stalking this package all morning because one of the deliveries is set for tomorrow and one is for wednesday so i just want to be able to catch it in time ups usps customer service is from 8 p.m to 8 a.m to 8 30 p.m so 
so I have to be stalking this to see if they have received it so I can then call back I when I spoke to the agent this morning they told me that once they are in receipt of the package I should call them back and they'll see what they can do anyways guys so that is what I had to tell you guys right now the doll is stress right out stress right out yesterday I cooked some oxtails with white rice and I fried some wings and so I don't have to like cook today I may have to make some more rice because that's all blessing and her dad wants to eat uh, for myself I'm not sure I think I want to do like a cabbage stir fry yeah I think I just want some veggies to eat today do I want shrimp Mm, I don't think I want shrimp because after I left the Asian market on Friday I came home and I made my ramen and I put shrimp in it and I had that on Friday so I'm not really feeling for shrimp you know what I might just eat some Sunday Monday because I can't bother I must stress out I package them they put my mind heavy so yeah I will come back I'm not gonna vlog in the car today because see miss I'm not gonna vlog in the car today because I'm tired for the that now um I will be doing a haul of all the stuff that I bought guys let me tell you something you see people bashing um boutique and sheen and all of them lower end clothing something there I'm gonna need y'all to stop because how much of us buy clothes and wear them three four five six times not me so I'm not gonna spend all that money buying expensive clothes to just wear them one time because to me that's a waste of money when I buy cheaper clothes wear them one time i can donate them to charity and not feel like oh you know i shouldn't really spend so much money if you have the money and you don't feel no way by all means but for me i would rather spend money on stuff that i'm going to be wearing multiple times like my shoes my bags um jewelry hair all of those things but for clothes me not, you're not going to catch me out in an outfit and catch me out in it again unless it's like jeans or a t-shirt but if I'm going to an event best believe I'll only be wearing that outfit once and it's not on no hype or nothing it's just preference for me I am not comfortable in repeating my clothes that i've worn to an event taken pictures in and everybody see me in it so that is preference to me which is why i prefer to shop lower end on clothing and pricier to accessorize like my hair my shoes my bags stuff like that so yeah i'm so excited to get my sheen order and to be honest guys once you read reviews on sheen you should be fine because i don't think i've ever ordered anything on sheen knock on wood don't want it to start no sheen don't play with me also i'm begging a sponsorship so I will be doing a haul on the stuff that I got. Um, I ended up getting a cute little, some a uh, few little cute um accessory pieces. And to be honest, I think she in um jewelry, especially their gold jewelry, it is really good quality. It's not like some of these high end places that sell you um jewelry that is not authentic gold and the color wash away the first time you use it 
I got this sheet, this bangle from Shein, and I have been wearing it since December, and it is still gold. Um, when I work, I like to rest my hand on stuff, so that is where the little scuffing come in, and because it, it's only on this side. This side is perfectly fine, but this side is um, scratched up. And you can see like the silver <coughs> peeking out from under it. but apart from that the top part is perfectly fine and it's very durable enough flimsy it is so I got more because I mean who's gonna check me no one anyways so yeah um I bought some more of those and you know she and has I also got some stuff for my daughter. I like to buy stuff from Sheen for her because she grows quickly. As well as I like buying outfits for her that is still child friendly but is not too kiddy like the little like color color something of them and all those things. So let me show you an idea of what I'm talking about for her. You'll see my stuff in the haul, but I'll show you like a couple things that I purchased for her. So, like, like this top. Focus. So it's like this top. It is really cute. It's just so, you know, girly, but it's not too, oh, I'm a baby. I'm wearing baby clothes, you know, stuff like that. So let me show you something else. Look at this top. So it's really cute. Love that for her. So I like to get stuff from Shein for her that is kid friendly like I said but it's not too like you know cookie cutter kids wear. Look at this cute little dress that she have. She loves this dress by the way. See, it's so cute, right? The sides are cut out. And yeah. So these are the stuff that, that I like to buy for her. I want her to look fashionable in the outfits that she wear. So for the most part, the quality is really nice. The only things I would say that is not too really of a good quality are the like the shirts, like the t-shirts are in the sets but yeah so i got her this skirt isn't it cute it has pockets on the side it's a cargo style and i got her a top to go it as well so this is the top that i purchased for her to wear with it cute little vibes you know Okay, this cute little dress, you know, so you get the idea. And this dress was $8.84 and the skirt was $7. So it is like you're getting good quality kid stuff, but you're not breaking the bank because as your quaint, she outgrew them. And I know that by her birthday in november i'm gonna have to start buying sizing up look at this dress guys isn't it like a cute little easter dress Jeez, um it is so adorable let me see if i can go back it's so cute uh, focus okay there it is so it's like a romper so it's not like a it's like a romper and it has that um mesh detailing on the outside of it to make it look like a dress but it's really a romper i think this was very adorable and i obviously i read the reviews and everyone says it looks good <sighs> guys stress out again so after stalking the usps truck the delivery truck okay. listen after stalking the usps delivery truck well first i called this morning eight o'clock on the dot 
so I called USPS customer service oh, oh. 8 o'clock this morning and they told me that because the package was oh. already oh. out for Stop. delivery there was nothing that I could do to intercept the package so she said that you know I would have to Tweezer. reach out to the supervisor for the leasing office for where I used to live and that's not gonna happen hate those people can't stand them I'll give you a story time on why one day after doing that I was like I know the truck comes at around 2 o'clock I went to pick up blessing from school no first at 1 o'clock I went there to ensure that the truck was not there Okay. Then um, I went to pick up Blessing from school. After I picked her up, I went back and as I pulled in, the truck was just reversing to park at the leasing office to deliver their mail. So the driver came out and I asked him, hey, is it possible for you to check to see if you have my package? He's like, oh no, he can't check right now because there are so many packages and it would take him a while. So I asked him like, you know, if it is that they go to, if he will deliver the package and he's, he was basically saying that um, that unit, not surprised, has been empty since I moved out. I moved out, my last date to be out of that apartment was December 31st. So it's been empty for almost for two months now, um, almost three. So he's like he's sure nobody lives there, so he wouldn't even drop the package at the door or put it in a mailbox because it still has a vacant card. He's like um, he don't even think he has a package because he hasn't been dropping any mail at that apartment for the longest well that gave me some relief but he's like he's gonna return it to the sender I mean I want it return to the sender though excuse blessing on her madness look at this what are you doing yeah I don't want it to be returned to sender but when I spoke to the customer service rep this morning she told me that i did still have mail forwarding one but they use they misspelled my both of my last names and my first name i have no idea when you fill out a card and you make sure to put everything accurately or legibly so that people could read it and you still put your spell your names incorrect Anyways, she fixed that for me and she did ensure that my address was up to date and whatever. So, I do still have mail forwarding so I hope that they'll send it back there and then realize that it should be forwarded to this address. I can't bother worry about it no more. It's in God's hands as long as I know that it will not be delivered so anybody can take my packages. I think I'm more at peace. My frustration or my worries came from if they were going to deliver it. And because it's not asking for an address, I mean an, a signature, you know, people going to see and then see where it's from and then probably steal it and then I would end up losing. I sat out there he said that he would have probably got to where my mailbox is by three o'clock and I was sit as I was sitting there I was like girl it no worth it so I was just like you know what I'll just I'll just see what happens so guys ah! <laughs> guys excuse me for looking crazy right now but girl so, how about, remember, the USPS saga. So, I went to do my daily routine the whole time today my mind was saying, go back to that old apartment, go back to the old apartment. I say, you know what, I'm gonna go get blessing and when I'm done, I'm gonna go by the old apartment. 
bro i picked up blessing i drove past the old apartment and i say you know what i'm gonna stress myself about that package no more and you guys are gonna say oh but it wasn't that serious when you see what was inside but for me it was serious because when i order my stuff i want to get them anyways so i picked up blessing drove past the old apartment and i and i turned to turn in the apartment and then i was like you know what i'm gonna go live on the people them property stocking no package so i ended up going to popeyes to get some ghost pepper wings and then blessing was like she wanted fries from mcdonald's but she loves their fries so i went there bro would you believe that while i was driving i don't know if it's because i was using gps or what but i got a call i missed the call and the person left a voice note um is by the grace of god as i as i got home and parked i checked my phone and saw that i had a missed call um listen to the message it was somebody from usps calling me to tell me that the driver has my packages and he i was supposed to meet him at the old apartment to pick them up you hear me i was supposed to meet him to pick them up oh, and i'm here now He told her that he was still here, so um, I'm just gonna wait. He said by the time I got here, he was going to be at the swimming pool. Just got to the swimming pool and he wasn't there. My nervous, my nervous, my nervous, bad, bad, bad. I don't see the truck. Blessing singing. So I will be back when I find him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Guys, I found him! I found him. Hopefully he's gonna give me a hard time. See him there. Bro, I'ma find the man. And he's a little miserable man too, you know. But he might work with me. He might work with the doll. See me, I come back downstairs. Hi! You see, the man say, You're so lucky. Girl, nothing beats prayer. Nothing beats prayer. Ah! Jesus, package one. He said that he actually had it. Oh, he actually had it yesterday with him. And he was looking for me to come back. And package two. That came this morning. Tell me, said the gardener, real and all my worries, bro. It's not at this point. It's not even about the content of the package. It's just, yo, this man kept repeating, "You're so lucky. You're so lucky, sir." It's not lucky. I'm blessed. I was like, I pray a lot. Huh. Burden lifted. People, I'm gonna tell you now. When I tell you guys that I went home, parked, I was about to exit my car, and I, I looked at my phone and I saw that the lady called me from the pool. Listen, 
USPS customer service 10 out of 10 would recommend let me tell you these people since the first time I called when they didn't they didn't even have my package from the first time I called they were very helpful the second time I called they were very helpful and yesterday even after everything with the packages I called and they were trust me they were so helpful the whole experience with USPS United States Postal Service 10 out of 10 would recommend but yeah and I also got my Shein package today so it must be my package day because now I have everything that I ordered no, so a piece of headache just lick me. I for be my excitement. And this man just keep on repeating. You're so lucky because I would never do this. You're so lucky. Oh. Oh. My God. Oh my God. So that experience is over. And it ended favorable. Like I said, I let it go and this, I think, <laughs> I like to read into things and I think this is a lesson. God is teaching me a lesson because I pray about things and I pray about things. Oh, so them not cross. I pray about things and you know after you pray you're still dwelling on it you know you're still thinking about it you keep I was watching a TikTok one day and it was from an elderly person the lady said you keep praying to God for the same thing God already know knew that prayer before you prayed it you prayed it and God God knew you were going to pray it and it makes no sense to keep praying the same prayer over and over and over it's like from you send that message to God he receives it so it makes no sense to keep praying praying to him about the same literally the same thing over and over you sent the message he received it and he's going to work on it and reply in favorable time or in his timing because everybody know God no work off of your time, my time or nobody else's time. He works off his time. And yesterday when the, the mailman told me, um, I was there after two and he said to me, he won't be around to my old mailbox till around three o'clock i went to the bank i went to drop off some amazon returns at ups and i sat in the car like waiting and waiting and one man just said to me you know what nobody go back just leave it leave it if anything they'll return it or they'll forward it to you i'm gonna say I'm going to leave it. I still kept checking because I wanted to see if they were going to forward it to me. Wake up this morning. Whenever I even bother Tutu, I come myself with it yesterday. W woke up this morning, um, said my prayer, and which did not include the packages, by the way. Said my prayer, and um, I said my prayer, and I was I checked it and I saw that the second package was out for delivery but when I spoke to the person yesterday blessing can you sit down please sit down he told me she he told me that he was going to make notes on my case that you know the mail should be forwarded and he told me that it will mark forwarded mail forwarded instead of being out for delivery or whatever 
so with that i had some peace and uh, so i just i never too so yeah guys like i was saying she escaped her car seat but we're home so yeah so i don't even remember where i was at but moral of the story is let's go and let god let it go give it to god and forget about it and i need to use this as a constant reminder people might say oh god no i have nothing to do with it you're just lucky but a oh god it, oh god because it could have got completely different Here I go. them could have did return it to the sender i may forgot to reorder it all over again as well as somebody could have been living at the apartment collected the mail and took it for themselves because and nothing would have came out of it because it was my fault i didn't check the address so it could have gone that way or it could have you know it could have got three ways it could have go somebody received my package and wasn't honest they returned it to the um the merchant or they forwarded it to me and number one somebody's getting it would have been and what are the odds that nobody lives in the apartment so where's dollar nobody nobody lives in the every time i reach out it's the evening time you put so the first thing is nobody lives in the apartment so that was the first the first miracle. and the guy knew my name and i guess he saw my package this morning i was like he was gonna take it because he said he was jesus he was looking out for me but true me can't bother. i'm so bad guys i promise i'm not soon see me look different <laughs> hey guys welcome back to the vlog so this vlog has been going on for a while i'm gonna end this vlog with just this clip of me just doing a quick target haul yes target has me in a chuck that's me in target so it has me in a real show call so let me just do an un bagging or unpacking of these items that i got from all right so the first item that i got is this floor mirror this is what it's looking like excuse my background and my ashing knees so this mirror was originally 80 dollars and i got it for 57 and change let me tell you what i got it for from 80 dollars to where's the price that's not I think I got it for 57.30 or something like that. It was $80 and it was on sale for 64 online. So I had them price match it. Then it had some little damage on it, which I don't really mind. I probably do something with it anyways to get rid of it. Uh, then I got a 10% damage discount. So I ended up paying $57 for this mirror for my bedroom. And I love it. It's a wood finish. Let me show you. So it's a wood finish. Let me show you what i got in my other bag so they had these really cute little um birkenstock dupe sandals these were ten dollars and i got these um remember i was saying with these i don't remember if i was saying it to the vlog but these type of slippers or sandals i don't really like how they fit my toes because i have really long toes and they're really slender feet so this is always like a problem with my toes but I really like them. I could probably wear them around the house or something. Then I got these really cute jellies. And these were $15. It's really cute. So I got those. Then most of my shopping, as usual, is for my daughter. I got her this pink dress. It's really cute and fun for the Easter springtime. These were $18. Really cute. I got her some denim shorts. I got these little cute um dark wash denim they have little lace detailing on the bottom of it I, th I thought these were really cute for her as well then i got her these light wash denim shorts love these for her got her got it in a size 40 because she's really small and then i picked up this um peace sign floral detail shirt um and these were five dollars and remember guys um 
I do this a lot because when she grows her stuff out, I could always return it, get back my money, or store credit to purchase more um, outfits for her. Got this one, and this was also five dollars. I just got her like basic leggings. She likes to wear these to school, so I got her these that she could wear with her polo to school. These were five dollars, and I just realized that these leggings they are non-tax, so they're not taxed. I got her these cute little, what's this, orange and lemon printed, like cool little vests that she could wear um, on our little trip that we're going on. Yeah, I've decided that I'm gonna go. Got her this one as well. It's a tie dye um, print. These are all Easter colors. As you know, um, Walmart and Target, at, for every season, their clothing color usually match. So I got her this little floral print one. Cute. And this was, this is very cute. I love the sleeve on this. Cute. And these were $7. So, yeah, that's, that's on that. And then I picked up this jar that I'm going to be using as a vase for my Lucky Bamboo. It outgrew the vase that it's in, so I'm going to transfer it to this one. This was $5. And I chose to do this because a vase is like $10 when I can pretty much do the same thing with this. So, yeah. And then I just picked up, um... A couple of beauty stuff. I got some nail polish remover wipes. Um, I picked up these goggles where they had the little discount because I want her to learn to swim this summer and it's cute and fun and it also goes with a swimwear that I just bought her. So that's why I chose this color. This was I believe three dollars. Um, picked up some cuticle oil. Will it focus? Yeah, so I picked up some cuticle oil which is what I initially went into Target for. Listen, I'm not going back there for the next couple of months, and I'm I'm serious, I'm dead ass. Um, I got these mascara from CoverGirl. I really don't have um, uh, <clears throat> oh regular mascara. The mascara that I have is from Better Than Six, and it's waterproof. I wanted one that wasn't. Then I picked up this glue brow from NYX. Uh, yeah, it's in the color dark brown, and I just picked up instead of going to Sephora, I just got this NYX brow pencil. In the shade chocolate I added some of the I opened it when I got home and I tested it out so the um the brow glue it's not bad but I need to grow my eyebrows so yeah and I got this real technique sponge this one is the mattifying sponge natural matte finish so yeah I got the sponge they really didn't have much options of sponges because usually I would pick up the orange sponge from um real techniques but they didn't have any so that's my little haul from target but i also wanted to show you guys um the stuff that i received in the mail yesterday so brb my house is a mess i'm cleaning but tomorrow is my day off so give me some grace please i'm trying to finish this vlog so i could edit it and upload it tomorrow at 6 p.m that's my upload schedule so my upload schedule will be um fridays at 6 p.m and it will be a weekly vlog so it's gonna be long Okay guys, so I am back again. Um, remember I told you I got my mail yesterday. I got my package from Shein, which is in a big old box. I got um, the two order, the orders that I was uh, out hunting for for the USPS saga has now been closed successfully and I'm happy. So I'm gonna open the small one first. So this is the first one. And I'm going to open it. So, I ordered these items from the Coach Outlet. Just two little pieces that I want to pick up for myself. So, initially I wanted some sandals, some black sandals. And I found the ones that I really liked. But then I was, you know, the suggestions. It got me. Okay, it really got me. So... I decided that I wanted a little wallet and I don't like large wallets so I, I found let me show you the package here is the packaging it just said coach and it is in a plastic container because it's not from the coach coach store um, so here's the packaging let me unbox it for you guys my hand is actually I'm sorry I'm a mess like jeez get it together just a standard um, small snap wallet 
it has a coin purse in the back looks like so and it comes with all the little thingies inside this is the pebble leather snap wallet in black and it also comes with a little care guide i guess uh, so it has a coin purse in the back and here it has like your card holder for your cards and it has a little opening for if you like have cash so it's really cute and small and I really love that oh and it also has this chain detailing with the C on it which is really cute so this is my new wallet that I got I know you guys must be like that this shit did I go on so far yes because I spent my money on stuff that I wanted and I wanted to have it so this is the other item which is the sandals let me open it for y'all when people do sit down um, unboxing or standing or it doesn't really matter so this is the box and this is how it comes I'm probably gonna do a TikTok unboxing of this I have one out on my channel already if you have not you can follow me at on TikTok even though they're about to ban it at Chipriti E S H E P R E T T Y E E E E H. Okay, so this is the box, and okay, so so these are the sandals. These are so cute. I love them with the gold coach detailing and yeah I'm not gonna put them on my feet because well I'm not gonna show you me putting it on because my toes are not towing right now but I love it I love it so yeah and it's comfy too it has really nice cushioning so it does match my wallet and I do have a purse the the camera bag in this same material and color so all three will go pretty well together this will be the end of this vlog you guys I will do my next video I'm gonna do a vlog then I'm gonna probably do a double upload with the sheen or I might include the sheen upload in my next vlog the sheen unboxing in my next vlog my brain is fucking i'm in love with my purchases this is so cute so so cute i love it thank you guys for watching this vlog please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and like i said in my last vlog i am building a community so feel free to leave your suggestions down below any comment you have for me any questions you want to ask me because i still am going to do a sit down video you guys have been watching the videos um not really um asking me any questions and i want you to ask me questions so like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next vlog bye guys